This is a great example of medical science. Keep in mind, the research here has profound impact for those with chronic fatigue syndrome. The potential treatment as a result of the research that we're looking at is simple and incredibly elegant and extremely practical. And what the researchers discovered was what happens when an individual has chronic fatigue syndrome. The reason that's important is we're not looking at what is actually the cause. We're looking at finding an effective way to alleviate many of the debilitating symptoms of this particular condition. You'll understand why in a second. With that in mind, let us proceed as follows. Chronic fatigue syndrome possibly explained by lower levels of key thyroid hormones. Now, initially you're going to be asking yourself, well, that sounds pretty obvious. Why was that not presented prior? Well, let us proceed. A new study reveals that chronic fatigue syndrome, a debilitated condition with unknown causes, can be explained by lower thyroid levels, but may be distinct from thyroidal disease. This can be seen as a first step to find a treatment for a common illness for which diagnosis is hard to come by. This contrast in thyroid stimulant activity led the study's authors to hypothesize that chronic fatigue syndrome is caused by low activity of thyroid hormones in the absence of thyroidal disease. Now you begin to catch on. To proceed, the researchers compared thyroid function and markers of inflammation between 98 CFS patients and 99 healthy controls. Remarkably, the CFS patients had lower serum levels of a certain key thyroid hormones, such as triiodothyronine T3 and thyroxine T4, but normal levels of thyroid stimulating hormone. That's what kind of threw the researchers off initially, to think of it as a potentially thyroid hormone disease. To proceed, additional analysis indicated that chronic fatigue syndrome patients had lower urinary iodine status and low grade inflammation which possibly mirrored the symptoms of patients with hypothyroidism. These CFS patients, however, had relatively high levels of another thyroid hormone called reverse T3, or RT3 for short. This appeared to be due to a shift in hormone production, where the body preferred to convert T4 to reverse T3. Instead of producing T3, the low T3 levels found in chronic fatigue syndrome patients, coupled with this switchover from R to RT3, could mean that T3 levels are severely reduced in the tissue itself. Otherwise, sometimes it will be known as uh, non-thyroidal illness syndrome. One of the key elements of our study, according to the researchers, is that our observation persisted in the face of two sensitivity analyses to check the strength of the association between chronic fatigue syndrome and thyroid parameters and low-grade inflammation, quoted the researcher. This strengthens our test results considerably. Now to read from the conclusion from the actual full study itself instead of the public release. So what we're looking at is basically RT3 and low levels of actually T3 in the tissue itself. So they will also hint at the possible treatment for this if the study can actually be confirmed or future studies are done with this potential treatment, which I now present to you. The most remarkable findings in this CFS case control study was a higher prevalence of low T3 syndrome. Low T3, not confused with the other T, attributable to a subgroup of chronic fatigue syndrome patients. Chronic low-grade metabolic inflammation was not convincingly noticed. Low circulating T3 may reflect more severely depressed tissue T3 levels. The low T3 syndrome might be in line with recent metabolomic studies pointing at hypometabolic state. It also resembles a mild form, as presented before in regard to reverse T3, of non-thyroidal illness syndrome. syndrome and the low T3 syndrome experienced by a subgroup of hypothyroid patients with T4 monotherapy. Our study needs confirmation and extension by others. If confirmed, trials with, e.g. T3, and iodide supplements might be indicated. So close. 
Now it just needs confirmation. And if this is confirmed, the treatment for those with chronic fatigue syndrome may be incredibly simple, elegant, and readily available. Beautiful research. Sometimes medical science has a hard time connecting with medical industry, but at least now, uh, we have some solid clues in which to work with. Again, this is Ralph Trickano signing off. I hope you find this information of use. DUI citation and everything as normal will be listed for you to follow and uh, to research on your own or bring to your medical practitioner. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you all next week. Catch you then. Bye.